11 in college football here at SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshek, and uh, we're talking right now with returning guest Jeff Grant, sports betting writer from the Bleacher Report. Jeff, thanks for being with us once again. Great to be with you, Peter, talking another uh, Southeastern Conference matchup here. Yeah, this, this is a tough game, tough line. Very interesting from a handicapping perspective. Uh, I assigned you Mississippi State at LSU. Now, Mississippi State opened as a 14-point road underdog, and LSU, of course, lost to Alabama, but they had a lot of good signs on offense. Statistically, they did very well in that game. Mississippi State, you know, they started out great, but all three of their SEC wins have come against winless SEC teams, and other than that, uh, they haven't really played anyone. You know, their ro bad road loss against Alabama was pretty forgivable, if you want to look at it a certain way, and then against Texas A&M, you know, that might have been a bit forgivable, too. The question is, can they hang tight with LSU here, and do they have the will to? Maybe they're just looking, maybe they're just going to like you know accept a blowout loss subconsciously and look ahead to the Arkansas game and get a, a good win at home the line has moved from 14 up to 14 and a half and that is a very telling move we saw the same kind of move in an SEC game with the Auburn Texas A&M game where that line was also you know some people were thinking Auburn was a good bet getting 14 points and then it moved to 14 and a half and 15 I could easily see this game especially in light of how much LSU improved uh, against um, uh, Alabama offensively I could easily see this game being like a 30 to 6 type of game 27 to 9 or something like that with LSU getting the cover what do you think here Jeff Grant I think you touched upon a very key factor that handicappers need to focus on and a lot of people especially sharp betters and and people that do this on a, on a weekly basis uh, everybody's gonna focus on LSU possibly having a letdown after that Alabama game but I think it's important to look at Mississippi State and you touched upon the, the will to win yeah a couple weeks ago Dan Mullen was talking big things out of Starksville, Mississippi. He was talking potential national championship run. Now this team's still ranked, but Dan Mullen during his time is two and 15 against ranked teams. And like you said, they may have lost that will to win. They may accept a blowout loss. Uh, they have not done very well in this series. LSU has more wins against Mississippi State than any other team in the SEC. And also, Les Miles has really put the blame on himself for that loss against Alabama, and rightfully so. They really dominated that game statistically, and the defense uh, was unreal until the last drive, and, and A.J. McCarron's no slouch in, as Alabama's quarterback. So I like your thoughts here in laying the points here, Peter. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, if, you know, the knock on LSU this year was that they had no offense. How are they, every every game, they were like, all right, their defense soft, but how are they going to score? But then you look at what the, they, their offense really made a, a great improvement in the last game against the Alabama defense. So in light of that, you know, I'm thinking that maybe a two touch, I mean, I, you know, I'm sure a lot of people look at this line, you know, on the opener and thought, oh man, Mississippi State, you know, LSU is going to be letting down two touchdowns is a lot. But, you know, Mississippi State doesn't really have the kinds of receivers, I think, that can beat LSU's great secondary. I don't know. What, so, so you think actually LSU has value here? I think LSU has value. There's wow. one injury that people need to take note of. Read the safety for LSU. Uh, he's a key figure for that defense. So I definitely say uh, all systems go if he's able to, to dress up and play in this game. This is LSU's homecoming game. That's another important factor. They may suffer a letdown. Uh, they're going through a 24-hour rule. I was watching Les Miles' press conference. He said we're going to think about this game for 24 hours and move on. And as we discussed already in the video, he's really placed that loss on himself. They're 18-1 and one following a loss in the Les Miles era. Uh, they are incredible at night. The only two losses, when you're going to pick Mississippi State, uh, they haven't been a very good underdog. And they've been blown out, like you said, when uh, facing upper competition. LSU's only two night losses in Baton Rouge have come against top-ranked top opponents, Florida and Alabama. Mississippi State isn't Florida and Alabama, so people need to forget about the letdown and, and play some numbers. And I was a little surprised that Alabama was a 22-point home favorite going against an undefeated Mississippi State team. Now I'm a little surprised why they weren't a 28-point yeah. home favorite in that game. So once again, I think LSU is the right play. Yeah, I think you might be onto something here, Jeff. And uh, to my eyes, that movement of 14 to 14 and a half is very telling. Thanks. Great preview once again, Jeff Grant.